What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. College students, I'm about to make your life a whole lot easier, okay? I know studying can be the worst thing. You know, you'd rather be on Facebook or Twitter or texting your best friend or out drinking or, you know, for me, talking to girls, playing games or, you know, living the actual college life, okay? I know this because I see it and people complain about studying and they think, you know, it's the worst thing in the world, yada, 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 I've been there. But when I go to a college campus, because I'm on a college campus, you know, when I go to a place of study on a college campus, I see people buried, you know, in a textbook. And I'm assuming that they're sitting there reading every single word. And it's like, it's a college textbook. Do you know how many words are in a college textbook? A lot. And for you to sit there and read every single word on one page has to be the worst thing you can do. It is not effective because our attention span doesn't last that long. You cannot retain all those words in your brain unless you read it at least 15 times, 16 times. Nobody's going to do that. What I'm about to show you is going to make your life a whole lot better when it comes to studying, okay? Now, following that, follow what I say. Not what I'm writing on the board, because what I'm writing on the board is not necessarily visible. This pen, mark, this pen, this marker doesn't have any ink, okay? But what I'm saying is going to be the exact same thing I'm writing on the board. And I can talk articulate, okay? I'm a very intelligent man. So, and I don't need anybody after this disclaimer going, well, I couldn't see nothing on the board, so I don't know what you're talking about. I just freaking told you. With that being stated, and my little two minutes wasted, hopefully you guys are still there. Follow me along, people. Because I'm not making this video again. I've done too many takes. All right. When I study, all I do is pay, I follow these four points. If you follow these four points when it comes to studying, I promise you, your life will be a whole lot easier. It'll save a lot of brain power. And you'll be a whole lot happier and less stressed. So follow these examples when, I step, when you study. Pay attention to the bold. The italics, figures, and diagrams, okay? Why? Because anything in bold, they will definitely test you over. This is 100%. If it's in that chapter or in that page and it's in bold, they will definitely test you over, okay? They will definitely, no doubt, test you over it for that chapter. So pay attention to the bold. After it's bold, after the bold word, phrase, letter, or word, or whatever you're studying, after the bold word, phrase, or letter, or sentence, or whatever, there's a definition. It's always followed. It's like two plus two is four. It always happens. When it goes bold, definition, okay? After the definition, read the sentence afterward. Read the sentence afterward. Why? Why, why, why? Because it's the example of that bold word, phrase, letter, sentence, whatever. It's an example of what they just put in bold, okay? So it goes bold, definition, example. Every single time I look in the textbook. Every single time. You know what that is? That's two sentences right there. Who can't study two sentences? Okay? After the bold, it goes italics. Now. Do not underestimate anything in italics because they will still test you over. They may not, but if it's in italics, like a 50, 50 like if it goes bold, it's 100%. If it's italics, it may be 50 50, okay? So they're not trying to put it in your face. They're not trying to be bold with it. They're trying to sideways with you. With, with, <laughs> they're trying to sideways that information into you, okay? Because it's italics. But italics is the same thing as bold. It goes italics. Definition and then example. Four sentences, people. Four sentences. Four sentences. Who can't study four sentences? Okay? I promise you, look in the textbook. Now, after bold and italics, people, I don't know, I just assume that people don't pay attention to the figures and diagrams. Pay attention to these. They make your whole life a lot easier. 
Why? Because usually figures and diagrams are pictures. And who doesn't want to learn from a picture? That's a whole lot easier than reading. And sometimes in figures and diagrams, they sometimes just summarize the whole page up. But you're not paying attention to the figure or diagram and you're sitting there reading all this crap. Pay attention to the figures and diagrams because they're usually pictures or examples of what that page or chapter is talking about. Just like that. That's like, let's see, the college textbook may be like 300, that page may be like two, 300 words, okay? You pay attention to a figure or a diagram, it could be 100 words. That's a third, okay? That's a third. Who doesn't want to read a third and then go back to what they're doing and having fun and saving a lot of brain activity, okay? And also, figures and diagrams will sometimes contain bold and italics meanings in them. If you overlook that, chances are somebody might slip that into a test, bam, you just missed it, okay? You just missed it because you didn't pay attention to a picture. You did not pay attention to a picture. So, because I'm gonna give you guys a short story. Because I remember one time I had this class and I got an A in the class, but there was a specific answer, I mean, there was a specific question to the test uh, and uh, I was like, well, I don't remember reading that. I went back, it was in a figure or a diagram. I can't remember, but I remember it was in one of these two. Okay? It was in one of these two, and I missed that question, but I still got it next, so it's all good. So, follow these four points that I just repeated, and you will save a lot of brain activity. And it will shorten up your study time, and you'll retain a lot more memory. With that being stated, this is the disclaimer to this video is if it's your major or it involves a lot of numbers, kind of disregard this video. Why? Because if it's your major, you need to know all that information. It's your major. You don't want to not know what you're talking about when it comes to your major. If, it's a, uh, if it involves a lot of numbers, you can't skip over steps when it involves numbers because if you skip a step when it involves numbers, chances are you're going to screw up. And if you screw up, you may not do as well in the class that you want to you may not do as well in the class that you want to because you skip some steps. Now, this video is for mainly aimed toward people that are taking a BS class or don't really want to pay attention in class but still have to go home and study or just want an easy A. You know, this video is more for you people because I know we don't like to study, but we got to do it if we want to make the grade. So with that being stated, this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing, and I'm Sean Turner, and I'm signing out. Enjoy, people.